going on guys in this video we are going to see how to find angular size of central maximum in an interference pattern now here we know that uh, angle actually angular size of the central maximum is given by alpha alpha is equal to 2 theta because if we consider this angle the angle with the center and this one is theta then alpha is total angle that's going to be equal to 2 theta now to find this one we can use this equation this is a generic equation that is phase angle is equal to x distance over lambda times 2 phi now let's go ahead and plug it but before we do that we have to know what is x distance mean so when we have two slits the x distance is going to be this d the distance between two slits times sine theta so this is going to be d times sine theta now we can go ahead and replace this d x distance with d sine theta so this is going to be phi is equal to d sine theta divided by lambda times 2 phi. Now phase angle. Phase angle is basically the phase difference. Phase difference occurs when we have minimums. So minimum, the difference between the minimum is going to be lambda by 2, half of the wavelength. So this is going to be lambda by 2 is equal to d sine theta over lambda times 2 phi. And we know that half of a wavelength is going to be phi. So phi, 1 phi is equal to d sine theta over lambda times 2 phi. From this one we can cancel this phi. And we can move this lambda to the other side. So lambda is equal to d sine theta. And when we have very small angle, here we are dealing with very small angles. So when we have small angles, this sine theta is equal to theta because if you take limit theta approaches zero if you and divide sine theta by theta that's going to be equal to one so this means sine theta over theta is equal to one so sine theta is equal to theta right so here from here we can say that lambda d theta so we are trying to find theta because we need alpha alpha is the main question so alpha is equal to 2 theta so from this one we know oh we already have a 2 right remaining right here so we shouldn't forget that 2 time 2 time and this is going to be therefore theta is going to be lambda over 2d and uh, we know that th if this is this, we know that lambda, is, I mean alpha is equal to 2 theta. Therefore, this is 2 times lambda by 2d. From this one, 2, 2 cancels. So alpha is equal to lambda by d. And lambda, we know that 500 nanometer divided by the distance of the slits between the slits, that's 1 millimeter. And if you calculate this one, you will get the answer 5 times 10 to the power of minus 4 in radians. And if you convert this one into degrees, that's going to give you 0 0.02865 degrees. And that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.